viewers we've got still some more time to go but the energy levels are not dropping because the mission is such ye zimmedari hame mil kar leni hai aur is session mein hamare sath jud rahe hain akshay kumar hamare campaign ambassador hamesha ki tarah hamare sath hain saurabh jain of racket is with us and we will have many others joining us zakas of course with me right here right next to me my good friend and let's say good evening and welcome on to stage uh, actor mother and of course a champion for all causes neha dupia please come on stage Sashri Akal ji. Sashri Akal ji. Ajoy ji. Which khade? How are you? Hi Neha. Hi, hi. So good to have you with us. Thank hi. you. Hi, hi. How are you? Great. My god, this is a this is a very uh a uh, strategic position firstly standing between all these wise men <laughs> and then i then Ooh, where, where? huge <laughs> expectation out of me to say wise things okay so yeah. now are we ready for it <laughs> after you sir after me <laughs> all right i'm seeing you after so long i know you're looking beautiful thank you thank you very much so and mera pehla aapse prashn mera aapse pehla prashn ye hai ki we are here on a mission mode and the idea is and this time as we take this whole cause forward you've joined us in the past we've talked we've talked about swachhata we've talked about the need to save money but i want to ask you what is the real challenge that you have faced you are now an influencer you are talking to people you're traveling have you faced as a woman really on ground what's the challenge that you've faced and what do you think needs to change Firstly on a lighter note I think the biggest challenge I faced is uh, that you've called me an influencer because what influencers do is so hard so to always make that messaging right in those 59 seconds is hard but coming to the most serious topic over here which is water of course you know if you if you're talking to me as a um, woman a mother an actor who's been on the road I would imagine that I have to answer this question by splitting it into three equal halves and um, you know let's let's just backtrack i think the time that i spent on the road has been one where you know you always like acha abhi nikalna hai kahin jana hai so like you know let's just make sure that what if you don't have the right kind of toilet the right kind of facility where can you go and as a woman is much harder i just feel like you know it's do men really think of these things they don't because the facilities i feel like are are lacking in some way more than that if you, even if one has the facility it's also the kind of facility there is and i feel like we're a large part of not making it really comfortable because the minute we hear okay it's public or the toilet is public we don't treat it like our own so that's why it becomes even more uncomfortable for us to use it i've been on the road i've done a couple of you know um shows where i've had to be on the road for almost like 60 days at a stretch and you're like okay um you you also i don't know if it's if it's an experience but for me it's brief because we wake up we go to the toilet we have a home but i've also experienced that and i think it's it's much harder for for women who have to go through this every day of their lives to be able to do this my shoots have permitted me to do that but i genuinely think the lack of facility is something that we need to talk about we need to harp upon we need to highlight we need to underline every day of our lives and what you guys are doing is amazing i want to talk to you a little bit about because you you've said this in your social media work as well about mothers who are coming back to work uh one of the things we don't talk about enough is you know kids friendly toilets where you can change diapers feed them sometimes i mean long ways to go before oh we get god. there oh my god i'm so glad that you're talking about this because you know i uh, i mean of course it's been very long since i've spoken to akshay also at length but you know there are multiple things that one does and and after becoming a mom i started a breastfeeding community called freedom to feed of course it started as one voice and we have almost 50000 women mm. who tell us every day as to what they're going through to jo sabse badi जानकारी शिकायत या फिर यू नो जिसे कहते हैं कि जरूरत या असुविधा जिसकी बात करते हैं ना वो बोलते हैं कि हमारे पास जगह नहीं है हमारे पास टॉयलेट नहीं वी डोंट हैव अ सेफ स्पेस फॉर आर चाइल्ड एंड आई थिंक एज अ मदर यू डोंट नीड एनीथिंग एज यू ऑल जस्ट लाइक इज माई चाइल्ड ओके मतलब पहला आखिरी जो आपके दिमाग में जो प्रश्न जो होता है इज माई चाइल्ड ओके एट ऑल टाइम्स एंड आई फील लाइक दिस सच अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ फेसिलिटीज इवन दे आई मीन हमारे आसपास हैं बट वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू गो डीपर इन टू द कंट्री वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू ट्रैवल वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू मेक लार्जर प्लान्स यू जस्ट 
स्टक विद दैट दैट बैग नो बट फैसिलिटीज हैं लेकिन है ना लोग ध्यान नहीं रखते हैं दैट इज एक बहुत बहुत ही बेकार सी चीज है मैंने देखा कई जगहों पे फैसिलिटीज होती हैं लेकिन अंदर जाके देखो तो उन्होंने ध्यान नहीं रखा होता इस्तेमाल बराबर नहीं करते गंदा होता है खराब होता है मतलब कई जगह तो कीचड़ होता है सब कुछ मतलब बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं फैसिलिटीज सरकार ने बना के दी हुई हैं लेकिन उसका जो ध्यान रखना है उसको अपनापन जो देना है उसको ये सोचना कि ये हमारा खुद का वो नहीं रहता जी बिल्कुल एंड वॉट यूर सिंग राइट वही तो बात हो जाती है द मिनट यू थिंक इज पब्लिक ना तो हम सोचते हैं कि देर आर सो मेनी प्लेसेज वे नाउ एंड ओवर टाइम यू ऑल्सो मस्ट एव नोटिस अक्षर यू बिन ऑन द रोड फॉर सो लॉन्ग एंड शूटिंग एंड यू मस्ट कि मतलब इवन एज सिंपल एज इफ यू लुक बैक 15 इयर्स अगो और 10 इयर्स अगो जब हम मुंबई से पूना भी जाते थे ना शूट करने तीन साढ़े तीन घंटे की वो जो ड्राइव होती है तो हम सोचते थे यहाँ पे बाथरूम चले जाते हैं फिर सीधा yeah. हमको होटल मिल जाएगा नाउ दिस यू कैन स्टॉप लिचुअली एवरी वेयर बट बिकॉज देर आर फेसिलिटीज बट एवरी वेयर इज ऑलवेज अट क्वेश्चन यू हैंड यहाँ चले जाए इज इट साफ होगा नहीं यू एग्जैक्टली टेकिंग योर पॉइंट फॉरवर्ड आई फील देर आर फेसिलिटीज बट हाउ वी लीव इट इज अपॉन आस सी दिस इज ऑल दिस थिंग इज अबाउट एटिकेट आपको क्या लगता है कैसा एटिकेट मतलब क्या लोगों को सीखना चाहिए इस एटिकेट के ऊपर आई थिंक जस्ट टू मेक श्योर मतलब बहुत बहुत साल पहले आई डोंट नो हु डिड द वर्स इट आई थिंक इट वॉज अ गवर्नमेंट रन इनिशिएटिव की एक एड आती थी कि जब वो कचरा बाहर फेंक रहे हैं और वो हमेशा बोलते थे कि ये जो बाहर है वो भी आपका घर है सो मेक श्योर दैट यू कीप दी आउटसाइड ऑल्सो क्लीन एंड देन एवरीबडी स्टार्ट मेकिंग श्योर दैट नो बडी वॉज लिटरिंग ऑन द रोड सो इट्स इट्स लिटली दैट राइट यू नो यू हैव टू